year that the tickets were not issued by police officers. As well. I had the pleasure of being at the 61st Precinct National Night Out last night, thanking and commending the 61st Precinct for the good work that they do. Um, I am glad that the knucklehead who gave the in court was not a police officer. And, uh, you know, I, I, I come here tonight prepared to talk about how I'm trying to keep the cable TV bills down. But, uh, you, know, uh, you know, I'm going to pass on that because there are a couple of other things, and this was one of them. Um, you know, whether or not something is a technical violation of the law or not doesn't mean you have to write a ticket for it. And this is an example of what has been wrong with this city administration for the last nine years. And it is an example of a traffic enforcement agent having to meet his or her quota, and we'll get to the quota issue in a second, deciding that Beacon Court was an easy mark. I could write a whole bunch of tickets by just walking up and down here and torturing these innocent people. Now, um, first, I just want you to know that I've written a, a letter for one constituent, and I don't know if she's here, yeah, and I don't want to... Hey, Terry, yeah. have you seen the letter yet? Because I just no, approved it that hour. Can I, uh, it I'm, I want to read the letter that uh, we're going to ask any of you who, we will give to any of you who wish to plead not guilty to this tip. Now, this is not a magic wand, right? Because I don't get to supersede the Parking Violations Bureau. But I would hope that somebody at the Parking Violations Bureau will look at these not guilty pleas, see what happened here, and recognize that this is just stupid. So, I'll just read it to you quickly. Um, I'm writing on behalf of Terry Towns, who received a parking violation for parking her car, quote, the wrong way on the Dead End Street Beacon Court in front of her house. Beacon Court, a Dead End Street emptied into from Lois Avenue, was narrow and only has sufficient width to accommodate parking on one side. While technically a two-way street, as all Dead End Streets are, the narrowness of it does not allow for U-turns or similar maneuvers for changing the direction of a car. The reality of the street is that at some point, either entering or leaving, a car will usually have to be driven in reverse. The normal traffic flow, the Title 34, Section 4-08M1 of the Rules of the City of New York likely envisages, envisages when determining wrong way parking on a two-way roadway, a wider street, to allow cars to turn or drive in either direction does not really exist on Beacon Court. This is an unusual situation in which many residents have, over the years, adapted to the conditions and discovered that parking in this direction was the most sensible for the block. There were no signs indicating that they should do otherwise. There were no tickets previously issued for this method, so they continued to park as made the most sense to them. Now, in one night, a traffic agent surprised the residents by swooping in and ticketing the entire block. The residents of this street are already burdened by its narrow nature. It seems unnecessary to further inconvenience them by, with little or no prior notice, overzealously applying parking regulations that do not match the reality of the driving conditions on that block. In light of these unique circumstances, I would kindly ask you to consider dismissing the harsh penalty accompanying this violation and all other wrong way parking violations issued that night on Beacon Court. I thank you in advance for your time consideration on this map. Well, Unfortunately, you know, you know what? Is, unfortunately, you have to be polite. What you really would like to do is call them up screaming and yelling and telling them, this is what people hate. This is what drives people out of the city of New York. This is what is wrong with people giving out tickets to raise revenue and not to enforce quality of life. I don't mind when someone gets a ticket, if they're walking down the street and take a candy wrapper and throw it and you ticket the person who's just mindlessly dirtying our street, all right? That makes sense. That's what tickets are for. But we don't use tickets that way. I, I have questioned commissioner after commissioner. I've questioned the Office of Management and Budget at budget hearings about the way this administration issues tickets. The first bill I introduced had to do with the sidewalk violations they give to people when it's their tree their sidewalk, and it's your violation. We changed the policy on, on sidewalks and trees in this city about seven and a half years ago as a result of that piece of legislation. They just don't get it. And the Beacon Court situation to me is the epitome of what's wrong 
what's going on in the city of New York with tickets. It is an outrage. It is outrageous. I don't blame you for being as pissed off as you are because it annoys me and I didn't get the ticket. So, George, I call on from you. George, me. I was just going to comment that, you know, I've dealt with these people before, and they're not fresh individuals in the world. That might get all these people out of their ticket that they got last night, but in two days, what's going to stop them from coming back again and again again? How do we get signs on these streets? Because it's not only theirs, it's Abbey, Beacon, it's all of them. You know what? All of those streets just park the other way. But you know something? If we had known that they wanted us to park the other way, we would have. If you look, though, it, it, it really is based on the moron who comes down to write the sign. Because if you go on Abbey Court right here, I think Sergeant Doyle was just trying to point that out, and probably everybody missed it. On Abbey Court, Staunton and Bartlett Place, they park on the right. When you cross over Simon, they park on the left. When you cross over, they park on the right. Who's to say what's right and wrong? You might get all these people out of the ticket, and then they'll come back to it. Well, they did it in front of the school. They did it on the avenue. I had one moron. I pulled over in the bus stop. My daughter was throwing up on my feet. And he pulls up next to me and gives me a $110 ticket. I said, excuse me, do you see what's going on? He goes, it's illegal to park in the bus stop. I go, are you a moron? It's illegal to park in the bus stop. I said, do you want to throw up on your feet? I said, here, Brown, throw up on his feet, please. It's illegal to park in the bus stop. They're morons. They really, obviously, anybody can pass this test. That gets you get to anywhere using that language. Obviously, anybody can pass this test. Not only yeah. that, anybody. They were, they were driving up the blocks at 5.30 in the evening yesterday, and they were, they were flying down the blocks. That My neighbor yelled at, at them and told them to slow down. And they were flying up the blocks very fast. Because they were before you yelled at them. How do you, and how they, do you and they just given out the tickets? The, one car, <laughs> they got one. It out. They were just uh, around you know, the neighborhood. Uh, you know, to, to answer the question, you know, I don't know that it's possible. I'm just giving this a thought before I came up here, um, to write a law that, 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 that changed the law that allows this to happen, because I am not sure that one size fits all, and as you point out, who's to say which side of the street, and you know, all that. So I don't know that I can do it legislatively. All right? I dealt with first things first, which is you have a limited amount of time to plead not guilty, all right? and this injustice needs to be corrected. All right? We will be reaching out to traffic enforcement. And we will be expressing our outrage at what, ha what happened on Beacon Court. And they, they will know in no uncertain terms that what happens on Abbey or any of the other courts, so they come back to Beacon Court, that we will find a way to embarrass them or make them feel the pain. Because stupidity will not be tolerated, you know, vindictiveness will not be tolerated, and, and tickets being given out to entire blocks of people because they're easy will not be tolerated. I said to you, I was going to say something about quotas. Uh, Councilman Recky, Councilman Nelson, and former Councilman Felder and I, uh, with Community Board 15, held a, uh, a public hearing on the issue of tickets, probably about five or six years ago, at Kingsborough Community College. We had people coming in and complaining about tickets of all kinds, and we had the sanitation enforcement folks down. And I have to tell you, I get along reasonably well with the sanitation enforcement guys. I think they cleaned up their act some, but, you know, some. And, you know, I, I question the chief, the, you know, the superintendent, about ticketing policy. I said, you know, what, well, what happens if you have an enforcement agent and everyone else is writing 25 tickets a day and he's writing three? What happens? Well, we'd have to look into that and we'd probably be fired. I said, so isn't that quota? Aren't you telling them that if they don't write a certain number of tickets, you're going to presume they're not doing their job? Don't you think that's an incentive for them to go down everybody's house, open up the garbage can, and find out that there's a the wrong kind of garbage in the recycling bin? Yeah, yeah. All right, that's what they do. They hit a block. The sidewalk violations do it. They, you know, the sanitation yeah. police do it. They hit a block and they write their tickets through the day. God knows what they're doing the rest of their day. Now, we just passed an 11 bill recycling package in the city of New York. I sponsored two of those bills. One of them is about plastic recycling. It's a very good thing. We're going to be doing it additional, you know, the hard plastic. You know, we're going to, you know, phase that in as soon as the plant is ready. But I had written into that bill that if...